Hi and welcome to Divyak. My name is Joel and it's my pleasure to give you a tour of the house. What I'm going to do is rapidly take you through all the sections of Divyak so that you get a good overview and can understand how the different parts fit together. Let's start with your home page. This is the first page you'll see when you log in and it's also the page that any visitor to your profile will see. It provides a summary view of your dive history and an easy one-click access for dive sensors to key information such as your certifications, contact data, and even emergency data, provided of course that you allow that in your privacy settings. What you also have in the bottom part of the page are your news and activity feeds. This is where you can follow what your friends are doing or stay informed about the activities taking place at your favorite dive sites, for example. Don't forget to post some updates as well. Before we dive into the most interesting sections, let's take a quick detour through your account and settings page. This is where I would suggest that you start when you're done with this video. As you can see, you can fill in your contact data, set your privacy preferences, and your preferred unit systems on this page. Alright, enough admin. Let's move on to the actual logbook section. As you can see here, we provided you with three different views to choose from, a timeline view, a table view, and a map view. The timeline view is my favorite, and it's great to get a short snapshot of every one of your dives with logos, photos, sightings, and lots of links. The table page is great, though, to get an even more condensed overview of your dive history, as well as to sort your dives by any of the fields in the table. Notice as well the green tick mark. This shows that your dive has been validated. We'll come back to that later. The map page is awesome for global divers who like to get an overview of where they've dived and where they haven't, as well as to access some information about any given location. Alright, that's great, but how do you actually log a dive in Divyak? Well, simply click on one of the Add a Dive buttons and it'll take you to this screen. I'm not going to cover this in detail in this video, so check out the tutorial Log in a Dive for more details. For now, I'll simply copy my previous dive as a starting point. Once again, I don't want to take you through all the details, but simply highlight a few important points on the dive form. First of all, notice that we've included the option to rate and comment both the dive site and the dive operator. It only takes a second, so please take the time to do so. That way, the next time that you're looking for a new dive destination or dive operator, you can benefit from real reviews from Divyak users like you. The second thing I want to point out is that little tick mark icon that appears once you've entered the name of your dive buddy. Remember that from the table page? Well, what this button does is send a validation request to your buddy who can accept or decline the validation and also copy your log into his own or her own logbook if he's a Divyak member. The final functionalities that I want to point out here relate to the Marine Life Database. One of the great things about Divyak is that it's not only a digital logbook, it's also a full Marine Life Database. So if you enjoy spotting, recognizing, and remembering the fish that you've seen, you'll love what we have here for you. Check it out. First of all, based on the dive operator that you've entered at the top, you might have the option to choose from their custom fish card. That's a list of fish that you're most likely to see while diving with them. If you've recognized any fish you've seen, just click on it to add it to your dive. What you can also do is see what fish other divers have spotted at the same place. Hmm. And if that's not enough, you can search the full marine life database currently containing more than 14,000 fish. We'll look at that in a second. Okay, that's all for now. Let's save this log and go back to explore the other sections of Divyak. The photos section is what you would imagine a personal photo album with different views to suit your needs. So I won't elaborate too much. Okay, let's switch over to the Marine Life pages. I personally love this section that's full of cool tools for you to identify the fish that you've seen and learn more about them. Here, what we have is a standard A to Z search tool. For the wannabe marine biologists, we also have a family tree, ah, and for once in English, not Latin. And finally, we have a regional set of fish cards, a sort of top 50 per region. Now let me show you what happens when I click on any fish, on any of those pages, by the way. We don't just have photos of most species, we also have a detailed information card containing a short description, biology facts, and much more for all 14,000 species. Oh, I love it. The final page of this section is the My Sightings page. 
super cool to keep track of the species you've seen and retrace your sightings both geographically on the map and time-wise. The next section, Friends, is where you manage your connections in Divyak. Note that you can follow dive sites, dive locations, dive operators as well as other divers. Let's switch over to the Places page as well now. This is where you want to come to plan your next trip. You can either use one of our top 10, top 50 lists, or type the name of any place that you're interested in in the search box. Let's imagine right now I want to go to Sydney in Australia. What you see here now is a summary page for that location which aggregates all the information from the logs of all the people who've dived around Sydney. Imagine how cool this will be once we have thousands of log entries a day. From here, you can also either check out more details about any of the dive sites by clicking on their name, or check out more details about a, about a dive operator that looks interesting. Let's do that. Each dive operator has a page like this one, where you can find a description of that operator on the main page, the About Us page, some photos, potentially some maps of the dive sites, and the personalized fish card, as well as some user reviews on the third page, complete with sightings and photos from these users. Okay, we're nearly done, so let's have a look at a final section, which is the reporting section. As you can see, what we have here is a nice visual page with standard dashboards and a second one that includes two great tools, a weight calculator, uh, how many kilos or pounds did I use last time with my full body 5mm wetsuit, and a custom reporting tool for you to be able to retrace any dives that you want, um, just choosing the fields you want and selecting the filters to apply. Alright, that concludes the tour. Time for you to dive in, and don't forget to give us your feedback, good or bad, through the orange bar on the right. Enjoy!